Yeah, Mark and Lori, it was a bad summer here in Burien with a spike in gang related violence, innocent victims caught in the crossfire. It also reignited those calls for the gang unit to be reinstituted here. And today the King County Council did just that. It may be all quiet today from Skyway to Burien, but the signs are still here of an area searching for peace where there is still hurt in the hearts over a rash of deadly gang activity this summer. Still am concerned, but I know how to like self defend myself. Burian's Michelle Starkovs has heard all about. It. Like I am careful not to walk out at night all by myself in like areas that I don't know about. Today, an attempt to lessen the pain. And all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The King County Council voted unanimously to restore the gang unit. For me personally, I grew up in the city of Burien and we've had a number of high profile fatal shootings that I think are a symptom of a growing gang problem. Councilmember Dave Updegrove says $1 million will be used to fund two officers, a series of gang prevention programs for young people, and lay the groundwork for a regional gang unit. But in fact, I think this is just, I call it a seed. It is not close to Seattle's funding, but it's a start. I think it's a positive thing. Perhaps a new day, a new direction for South King County. Up the Grove told me he's well aware the numbers in King County are not close to what there is in Seattle, but he hopes that with this funding, there will be another reignition of talks for a regional approach to a gang task force across jurisdictional lines. That's the story for now live in Berrien. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.